amigo. Many people ask us about what is Uganda's Queen Elizabeth National Park known for. Queen Elizabeth National Park is known for its wildlife, including African elephant, African buffalo, Ugandan cob, hippopotamus, topi, waterbuck, warthog, giant forest hog, Nile crocodile, leopard, and lion. It is home to 95 mammal species and over 500 bird species. The core area of the reserve supports a wide range of Uganda's natural habitats and landforms, including grassy plains, distinctive savanna woodlands, tropical forests, wetlands, rivers, swamps, lakes, and volcanic craters. But first of all, we would like to take this opportunity to thank Red Chili Hideaway, for the wonderful trip and specialty Mr. Hassan Insubuga, our driver, ranger, organizer, and friend. Thank you. By the way, it would be very nice if you like the video and subscribe to the channel, to see more videos about wonderful destinations like this one. Most tourists who come to Uganda visit more than one destination. You can combine your Queen Elizabeth Safari with Gorilla Trekking Safaris in Gwindi, or tour Murchison Falls National Park. For relaxation after your wildlife safari, you can visit Seas Islands but if you are more interested in adventure, take on rafting on the Nile, chimpanzee trekking in Kibal. Runzori Mountains Climbing and Mount Elgin Hike On our visit to Uganda, we visited Kibal National Park, Queen Elizabeth National Park, Murchison Falls, Murchison Falls National Park, and at the end, we toured Kampala, the capital of Uganda, for a day. We did the entire journey with a van, which looked more like an all-terrain jeep. What you are going to see in the rest of this video is the tour we took through the Queen Elizabeth National Park, the animals we were able to see, and the fantastic sunset tour, in the northern part of the park, where we can observe uniquely beautiful landscapes of the park. Stay until the end so you don't miss the icing on the cake. Queen Elizabeth National Park occupies an estimated 1,978 square kilometers. The park extends from Lake George in the northeast to Lake Edward in the southwest and includes the Kazinga Channel connecting the two lakes. The park was founded in 1952 as Kazinga National Park. It was renamed two years later to commemorate a visit by Queen Elizabeth II. There are 72 craters of different sizes scattered throughout the park, evidence of the area's tumultuous volcanic history. Many of these are clustered in the north of the park making for a fascinating half-day drive when the view and the geologic record are the focus rather than the wildlife. A boat cruise should be a must for all visitors to Queen Elizabeth National Park. This is carried out along the Kazinga Channel during the mid-morning hours and a cruise normally lasts for not less than two hours. During the boat cruise, you are going to get the chance to see the crocodiles along the Kazinga Channel, bathing hippos on the shores, the birds, and how they play around big mammals like buffaloes and at times lions. And the birds on the shores of the Kazinga Channel are interesting to watch all paraded up like a battalion of soldiers ready to be commander for action. A boat cruise will also allow you to see Katungaroo Fishing Village and by chance can watch the fishermen and they drop their nets into the water ready to yield fish. Vegetation is yet another aspect of wildlife in Queen Elizabeth National Park. The vegetation in Queen Elizabeth is a reason for the beauty that the National Park flaunts all through the year. Perhaps, the presence of different types of vegetation in Queen Elizabeth National Park is the reason for its abundant animal species. Queen Elizabeth National Park is dominated by savanna vegetation. In some parts savanna grassland like in Kasani Plains and in other parts savanna woodland like in Ishasa sector in the southern area of Queen Elizabeth National Park. Savanna vegetation is characterized by tall grass that looks golden in the morning game drive when the sun rises and in the evening during the sunset. The tall grass in Kasani is a good hunting ground for the lions, they camouflage with the color of the dry grass during the dry season. And, during the wet or rainy season, the grassland flaunts its verdant over the undulating hills of Queen Elizabeth National Park, wonderful scenery for your sight. The savanna vegetation of the southern part of Queen Elizabeth National Park is dominated by woodland tree species like acacias, cactus trees, big fig trees etc. It is in these trees that the famous tree-climbing lions hung and relaxed, after the day's hunt, to take a nap. Despite the dominance of the savanna, a stretch of the rainforest in Kyambura Gorge and Maramagambo Forest mixes up the safari experience to something thrilling. Kyambura Gorge is a hidden strip of a rainforest within savanna vegetation. 
Kimbura Gorge is famous for habituated chimpanzee trekking, birding and nature walks in Queen Elizabeth National Park. On the other hand, the Maramagambo Forest is good for nature walks and birding. It is in the Maramagambo Forest that the phenomenal Bat Caves and Nyanzabiri Historical Caves are found. We couldn't finish the video without showing the fantastic route we took at the end of the day, towards the Queen Elizabeth Park North exit. Even today, when we remember the trip, the fantastic landscapes that we enjoyed on this route come to mind. I hope you like it as much as we do. Enjoy! Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Stay healthy and see you soon.